show you how I add a end screen and subtitles and cards and different things like that. So I have a video that's uploaded to the channel. Uh, it's not very long and, and how you get the video here doesn't matter whether you upload it from your phone or the desktop or whatever. Again, I'm just editing. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to go to end screen. So when I click on end screen, it's going to give me a few options. I always have one video and then a subscribe. So that's just a generic shows you over here what it's going to look like. And again, I'm not putting anything about my actual product here. So we click on save. And then the part that I think a lot of people have questions about is cards. So we're going to click on cards right here and we have a lot of different options. So here's the product right here. And uh, now I'm going to slide over. So now I'm in Amazon, right? So uh, this is a product that is already full. Um, but sometimes what I'll do is I will actually review products that are full if it's something that I need or something I'm going to use. So researching products for a different video, a different day, but I'm going to go up here. I'm going to get my link and I'm again, just going to grab my site stripe link right there. I'm going to go back to my video and I'm going to click right here where it says add link. So when I click on add link, and this is really cool is that kind of Google and Amazon really have kind of this, maybe not it's an agreement, but they work uh, seamlessly. So you can see that it pulls in the title. It pulls in my short link, right? My deep link, if you will. When I click on that, it's going to pull from the profile. So I really like this image here. I think it shows the LCD screen. It shows all seven blades. Um, so we'll put that and you'll see that it'll drop right there. Then I actually have to look at a card title, right? So um, there's a lot of information here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust this, delete some of this. You see you only have 50. And so I'm going to go back. The seven de uh, seven Pause that. I'm going to go back here and just edit this. And I'm looking at the screen also while I'm doing this at the same And I don't really like it just for its bald men. So I'm going to edit again. And now that I'm kind of thinking about it, I may use, you know, something else. Uh, shaver call to action by now little exclamation point teaser. Um, something like that. Now, the cool part about this is I can actually place this anywhere I want. So this little black thing right down here where my mouse is, I can slide this over. And this is in the video where the card will drop. Now, it's important to know, and I won't go into a ton of details. I should be looking here and not at the mic, but um, the you t I want people to watch my video, right? So not I, I don't want to put the card right at the beginning because the you know if they click on that card two seconds later, yes, they might buy that. So it's kind of like you've got to gauge where it's at. So I usually will do it in the first couple minutes. Um, if you have a longer video, you can add multiple cards in different spots. But the part for me is I want them to watch enough of the video that I get watch time that they learn about the product. So right about the point where they're like, okay, I know everything I need a product, what's in the box, everything. They click on this card and this is what it looks like. You can see right here, the call to action, right? Will be, um, buy now and then Baldi's unite. And then when you're done, you just click on save. Now, when the video is published, I've already shown you this before in pictures in previous posts where all of that will do this. So I'm going to publish this and because I'll fix it later. So I'm just going to go public. I haven't set anything. I haven't given a description or anything like that. So it'll look a little weird. But so I've done all that. I'm going to click save. And I'm actually going to go to the live video. I'm just going to refresh it really quick. So this is you'll see that doesn't have anything on there. And then when we go into the description right here, this is where we have the buy now option. So I'm going to show you what this looks like. When I click on buy now, it opens up a new window. It goes right here. And behind that is my deep link from Amazon that we grabbed earlier from the site stripe. So really easy way. It took a little bit longer, obviously, because I'm explaining and showing it to you. But for the most part, this should take you about 30 seconds if you already have the link open. And again, how you get your video to YouTube, it does not matter if you upload it separately, if you upload it from your phone, if you upload it through Oink or Amazon or however you're doing it, that does not matter. When you do the editing, you have to add the cards in 
YouTube. And I suggest doing it on a computer, not on your phone. It's just a little bit more tedious on the phone. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this helps.